Hi, I'm Sophie and welcome to my world. You know, 4th of July is right around the corner and if you're like me, you're planning a party, which means you're gonna need decorations. Now you don't have to spend a ton of money. All you need is some red, white, and blue paper and you can make these adorable red, white, and blue rosettes. And I'm gonna teach you how to make them right now. For this project, you will need red, white, and blue cardstock, a ruler, a pen, pipe cleaner, hot glue gun, and optional, silver sparkly paper and a circle or flower cutter. I want to take my ruler and I want to measure up one half inch. And with my ballpoint pen, and it's important to use a ballpoint pen, my ballpoint pen, I'm going to mark one half inch. I'm going to take my ruler and line it up so that I have a straight line. And then I'm going to draw across to create that line. I only have to do this once, and the reason I'm doing that is to create my fold line. I'm now going to fan fold from this end all the way to the top. What I do is I fold it up, flip the paper over, and using this as my guide, I fold it to the line, just like that. Then I flip it over, and again, using this as my guide, fold up. And I keep flipping and folding, making sure that I stay along that line as my guide. And there we go. Now, take your paper and find the center and fold it in half, kind of like a mustache. Just right in half, like that. Now, if you want to, one of the things that you can do before you even start your fan folds is fold your paper in half this way, then measure, and then do your fan folds. That'll make sure that you have a nice crease right in the center there, but you don't have to do that. So now what we're going to do is we're going to start making our rosette. And you're going to do a white one and a blue one. So you can see I've got these fan folded. There's the white one, the blue one, and the red one, and they're exactly the same. Take your white one and turn it into a bow tie by just pinching it straight down in the center. And then take your pipe cleaner and wrap it around and take it to the back and just give it a little twist, like that. Now I'm going to take my blue and I'm going to line it right on up here. with my white. And I'm going to wrap this around. And then I'm going to do the same thing with my red. Line it up there and wrap it around. And I'm going to wrap this nice and tight. This is just going to be my hanger. Now I'm going to start gluing this little guy together. First thing I want to do is glue my red edge. So I'm going to put a layer of hot glue right here. So remember when you're using hot glue, it is hot. So just be careful. Don't burn your fingers. So I'm just going to pull these edges together and seal it from the back here. So I'm going to pull those little edges together and make sure that they seal nice and tight. Pinch it together. There we go. Make sure our fan is good. Okay, now I'm going to come to the red and the white, and I'm going to join these two as well. I'm going to do the same thing with the blue and white. So you can see I'm just working my way around, gluing all the sides. There you go. Now you've got your basic rosettes. And now just to finish it off and make it look nice and neat, Choose whichever side you think is the best here. And you can always push this through. If this side looks better, push it through that little hole right there. And flip it over. And then this is going to become how you hang it. So you just 
twist those little wires together from your pipe cleaner. And now you've got your hanger. Now we want to finish it off by putting a really pretty centerpiece. And so what we're going to do is use this little bit of sparkle paper that I have here. Now you don't have to use a sparkle paper. Of course, you can use just another piece of construction paper. You could use a, and I've got this fabulous handy dandy cutter, which I think is awesome. And then you don't have to use that either. You can just cut your own circle if you wanted to. But since I've got that handy dandy one, I like to use it. And then just hot glue right over top. Flip it over and do one on the back. There you go. And you end up with this very cool rosette. And there you have it, your very own red, white, and blue rosette. Now remember, you can use other papers too and other sizes. So you can make them as big as you want or as small as you want, just depends on the paper. And you can mix and match colors galore. For more fun ideas that'll make your day rosette -y, check us out at sovi-world.com. <laughs>